I'm Dustin Meyer, the Vice President of Natural Gas Markets here at API, and for the last 10 years, my career has been focused on examining and evaluating natural gas markets as well as power markets. Today, I'd like to discuss a little bit about what's going on in natural gas markets, both here in the US and around the world, and discuss the implications, including the policy implications, of the current market dynamics. So why are natural gas prices rising? You have to remember that when you're talking about natural gas, it's different from oil where there is no one unified global price. There's really three primary natural gas prices that people think about. The US natural gas price, the Europe price, and the Asian price. And what we're seeing right now is that in Europe and Asia especially, prices are at record, record highs. And the reason for this, there's many, and it's really a confluence of events that can be really described as a perfect storm. What you have is that Chinese demand, especially for natural gas, is absolutely roaring. That's pulling a lot of natural gas into Asian markets. That leaves Europe, in contrast, somewhat challenging, challenged to get the gas that they need. And the result is that you have prices reaching record levels in both of those markets. <laughs> in, in contrast, the United States, which is the largest producer of natural gas, is relatively insulated from these high prices. Though even here in the United States, prices are significantly higher than they were last year when US prices were at record lows. These market dynamics are producing higher prices for consumers. Going forward, we think it's important that policymakers focus on policies that encourage domestic production of natural gas, as well as the necessary investment in the infrastructure to get that natural gas to where it's in demand.